Hello, motorcycles, bless you. I'm making this video just to uh, <clears throat> hopefully give you guys a better idea of what my thought process is and what your thought process should be while you're you're working on these projects. So this is what I do. The first thing is um, I got sister at the Leah's. Uh, she did a she did a good job, but the thing is, is that <clears throat> you know we. It it got to. Sh we might we might still be able to use these switches, but that's not how how we're gonna animate. Uh, it's not gonna look fluent. At least doesn't seem so for now. Cause all there are all they are is switches. Like for example, let's say. Matter of fact, <clears throat> okay, let's see. Let let's just. Let's just test that out. Let's say it went here. Well, that, and that's another thing. Hold on. Yeah, that's another thing. Is how do we know? Yeah, no, it's not. This isn't gonna work. <clears throat> I'm about to show you how to Yeah, I didn't even know how you did this. Oh wait, this is a switch, that's why. Yeah, you know, well, this this isn't how we're gonna do this. <clears throat> mm, yeah, no. Anyways, <clears> the <throat> first thing. Well, we'll get to that, but first thing I want to do is research uh, or, or learn how the hawk flies. Um, Irish castle was on flapping, staying so silent, so well, besides it? the bells they had. You see how hawks... It was amazing seeing how they, they would glide, glide towards us without flapping, staying so silent, well, besides the bells they had on. Now, even though falconry has been around for over 4,000 years, Harris hawks have only been used for like the past 30 years. People picked up on the fact that this bird was easy to train since they were a social hawk. They are a bird of prey that will... Uh, hawks, they don't really flap their wings too much, but many times they, uh, they're gliding. See that? So now, now that we have a good idea of how the hawk flies, uh, another thing that we want to keep in mind is the storyboarding. So, <clears throat> I had given her a script, and based off that script, I said to Lily, so let's, let's just read this, the, the part of the, the script, hold on, where is it? Okay, so a hawk comes from the upper left corner of the screen It starts out small because it's so far away, but then swoops down and becomes larger as it gets closer to the camera. Until it's so close, its face is right smack in front of the camera, and as it swoops, well, yeah, was, what I meant is as it swooshes, uh, swooshes past as it dives and, and the camera turns looking down at the dive, uh, at, at it dive into Egypt, Towards the direction of the wall next to the city. So she did a pretty good job at depicting that. Um, 
Now, in your story, you don't have to follow exactly 100% of, you know, what the storyboard goes. But the storyboard is supposed to be act as a guide. So, you're, what you're supposed to do is research, put the storyboard, put the what I give you on the script, and do some research, um, and blend it all together to something that looks what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to take this the sisters animation uh, we're actually gonna blend all these I wanna take this What is, what is this? Not G. Copy, paste, copy, paste, G, copy. Oh, what happened? Copy. Oh, what's going on? It's supposed to paste. Oh, that's why. again I light it all copy paste and what is it doing again Copy and paste and bam. We don't need uh, all of this other stuff. Oh. This can go, that can go, that can go. <clears throat> First things for, oh. I guess that's the viewing area for the camera. So what we're going to do is the following.
we're actually going to duplicate this this we have as a reference but we're going to take this <clears throat> and change some things around <clears throat> oh crap, no fuck. Oh jeez. Yeah, I gotta do everything all over again. I see what you did there. So you can just skip ahead while I do this. the last one to go. Five. Uh. 
Alright, anyways. This has to turn this, this. Where is the multiple group tool? Rise better. <clears throat> okay. So I'm using the curve tool to give these uh, these feathers better shape.
Now it's filled as many times you it's um you notice that the the top one is always the longest and it progressively gets shorter. Thing is, this gotta be longer. Also, try to avoid using too many vectors because that just makes the process more difficult. Um, it's it's more work for you. I, I know I made the same mistake uh, in the beginning. And that may be why some of you are doing it, but I'm letting you know now, don't. Let me see something. Mm. That's a good reference right there. <clears throat> you see these poses? This is the, the kind of stuff you need to reference. Give you a better idea. Matter of fact, I, I kind of like this model just because it's plain, but not to the, but you know, detailed enough. And we gotta give, gotta give this guy some legs.
Excuse me. Also get get familiarized with the shortcuts because you can as you can see I can move faster once I get I I, I memorize. So the C button is the curve tool. T is the select tool. I do not, I'm not a big fan. Well, that's pretty accurate, actually. Could be better. Could always be better. Let's see. Too much curve, too much curve, yeah, too much curve. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Need more curve. So yeah, it looks a little better, uh, just a little bit.
think it's the <clears throat> certain things like this you gotta really pay attention to the shape that's that's sometimes what gives it that effect as you see this it's like one curve that these feathers have oh, uh, and something like little ladders one two I don't even know why that's there. That is very annoying.
I don't want to go too crazy because we're not going to, I mean, this hawk isn't going to be a major player in this, so. <clears throat> Let's just say we're going to scale him, right? Now, even now, he's not. That is best, but he's going to fly, right? No, now when I put space, it doesn't want to play. All right, see that? That's a little too fast. So let's back it up. So from here, I want him <coughs> Let's see how he looks on one second. From there, I want him to come swooping down. It's gonna go like around here. I wanted to swoop down, but no, I wanted to change direction. So he's gonna be swooping down. Alright. Why some other? He's actually so. Right, that's fine. No one, no one, no one's gonna notice. I'm gonna make it larger. But first. I want him to come over here. Looping down, it's gonna go. Dun, 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 dun. It's gonna go right here. It's a little better now.
But at the dive, I want him to start like swooping in. So what he's gonna do next is he's gonna change. He's gonna change. Now I need a swooping hawk. Okay, I want to. Oh, 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 perfect. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, boy. So, this guy is going to change. He's going to. So we could probably get like a, 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 a lot of these. Pow. I said pow. Oh, that's not gonna work. I guess not. What? What is going on? Go. What is going on? I guess not then. Well, Mr. Hawk. Oh, wait. Uh, there's an option we gotta change. Mm -mm 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 -mm. What was it? Ah, there we go. Yeah, you're gonna en enable drawing tools only on frame. Yeah, that's you gotta take that off because we're not using bone rigging, so that has you know, if we were doing bone rigging, that'd be a different story, but we're not. Oh, not like that. That's, that actually looks way better, but whatever. Well, we actually might want to read this. It's gonna have to turn around. now so we're not even gonna see his look his feet so that I can be get gotten rid of. Now you might be thinking, what the hell is he doing? He just destroying the whole image. Gonna look retarded. Nah, watch. Watch this. This tail gotta go somewhere, somewhere else. Oh, 
All right, I'm gonna pause here. I'm gonna take a little, little pause. But just so you can get an idea of what's gonna happen is, watch this. What is going on? Chill. The transformation is supposed to happen. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. See, actually, it, the transformation is happening. Hold on, because if you let me zoom, you see, it's a complete. It's it's a complete shape. Uh, it's complete up here, but. Um. As the changes come, you know, over here he looks retarded because I haven't finished the, the full. The full changes, but uh, in the next, um, in the next video, I'm gonna have it finished, and then um, it's gonna look like a full, full-on uh, swooping down action. He's gonna curve and then flap like sideways and yeah, all that good stuff. So the point is, is that as you put things in the timeline, whatever changes you make, the program ad automatically blends it all and makes it natural. So you don't need to use switches or anything else. The program does it for you. So it's gonna look natural um, as long as you make the proper changes to the drawing on the on the timeline. Just save this, always save. Cassin is always in the midst.